Right. Favor in the left. Okay. Is it weight bearing or non weight bearing? Turn John, please. Turner. Oh, you guys are going to cheat. You can see what's going on there. Yeah. That's good. That's good. How else are we supposed to well, yeah. That's good stuff. That's Is that cheating? Good. I'm all for cheating. Yeah. Well, you could tell if it's weight bearing or weight bearing without having a fever. Oh, but now you're really going to know. So she's better when the affected leg is on the outside, is that right? Uh -huh. yeah. So that means... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, I have a 50% chance of being right. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we decided that her, her comfortable leg is her right front. Mm -hmm. That means her, her lame leg is her left front. Mm -hmm. And we decided that she's worse going to the left than the right. Mm -hmm. And we decided, based on gait characteristics, that... It's weight bearing in nature. Mm -hmm. Then we then we watched her go in both directions, right? Mm -hmm. And it was worse going to the left than the right. So we have a left front weight bearing lameness. It's worse going to the left. Where is the source of pain? Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> that's where the affected limb on the outside of the shirt. <laughs> he knows where it is. Um. Left front lameness, weight bearing, worse with the affected limb on the inside of the circle. I'll give you a hint. Is it her carpus? Is it her shoulder? No. Why not? Because I don't remember that. <laughs> um. If I block this horse's foot, what what would be the chance that she would go see? Based on what we're seeing. None? A Zero? good chance. Give me, everybody give me a sandwich. Jeez, what are we putting those sandwiches? <laughs> I think if you block it, it would go away. I think beyond a shadow of a doubt, that would go away. Because this horse's lameness is, is somewhere below the fetlock on the left front. You guys following me? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I yeah. say that. I'm getting a little sus. I, I can't. I'm not ready to be free from the paper yet. But yeah, if I had a if I had a tip card, I would. Uh, I was going to say that, but I was going to be wrong with you. So, so she she has a lameness up front. It's easiest to see because she drops on or she drops her head on the comfortable leg, which is the right front. So because she drops her head into the right front and doesn't swing it up on the left, we know the right front's the comfortable leg, that's where she drops. It's all falling into it or melting into it. And so we know she's got a weight-bearing lameness in the left front. If it was worse going to the right, it would be one of those five things that would be weight-bearing, worse with the effect of limb on the outside of the circle, like a coffee joint disease that we blocked out a little while ago. Okay, so that's if it's worse. That's if it's that's because it's unusual. Because it's unusual. You would expect it to be worse with it on the inside of the circle. Yeah. So it's on the outside, it's, it's something's weird about it. It's one of those five things. This is a weight-bearing lameness in the left front, worse with the leg on the inside of the circle. This is going to be from the fetlock below, down there somewhere. Now, it could be a, a suspensory branch, it could be a tendonitis or something of that nature. So there's a few things that'll sneak out of there, but, but almost inevitably, when you see what you see right there, you already know it's gonna be in the foot. So if, not to say you shouldn't do exactly what your veterinarian tells you at all times, but if the veterinarian comes over, takes out an expensive x-ray machine and starts pointing it at the elbow, you should say, excuse me, to all due respect, why don't we block the foot out first, knowing that that's where the problem's going to be, mm -hmm. just based on the way she moves. I don't know if I if I had been able to develop that much knowledge so far, and my vet started to X-ray the elbows, I'd be getting in the vet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be crying on the vet. So this this is nice. It's, we should get this one on video too, because it's a it's a it's a lameness. By the way. When we first started this morning, if I put a lameness like this up on the on the videotape, you guys would be giving me in all kinds of answers. I mean, we're all we're on the same page. We can see her drop, 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 drop. So that is a that is a nice big beautiful. 
nice, big, beautiful left front weight-bearing lameness force to the inside of the circle. You know, uh, I would be looking at a problem in the foot, close nail if she had shoes on, the big room inflammation, something that would be causing lameness from the left front. And if you guys want, we can block it out and prove it. The other thing is, she might be lame in the right front. We don't know. All we know is the left front hurts more. If we block the left front, if she goes off in the right front, then we'd be looking at problems that are typically bilateral, like the Vichy inflammation. Although she doesn't know that anymore. How long has she been lame? She's got hard eight weeks ago. Eight weeks ago? Huh. That's a long, long, long time. She was, she was sound prior to that? What did she do? Place fell down something. It's all up in the shoulder. Uh -huh. She would kick her elbow out like that and swing it around. Stride a bit about that long on the back. Uh huh. She came out, worked on her. She was. Oh well, there's your problem right there. She was probably... <laughs> Did I tell you my, my first love in life is forces? My second is an AR-15. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she was probably... My husband is the third. I was going to say. Even in the top ten. <laughs> she, was probably, she was probably 75% better after one treatment and then started really loading on the opposite side. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Let's see what we got to Yeah, let's block it. Let's make sure. She had a history. Yeah, your pocket. Oh, yeah, there it is. Let's see if we can.